Well, Darren, we're here after what I believe is our most complete performance of the season. What are your thoughts on a fantastic 4-0 win here at AFC Fold? Yeah, obviously delighted with the scoreline. Um, some really good performances today from the boys. Um, defensive shape was good. You know, um, Lochi, safe hands when, it, when he needed them. You know, our back three nice and solid again. No, just just really pleasing all round all round the pitch. Um, but you know, we was we was ruthless when we had opportunities. We did have a, a couple of opportunities in the first half to maybe take it to two 0 which might have seen it a bit more comfortable. But you know, I, I try to stay sort of level headed. You know, when when we've been beat, I try not to get too down and. You know, obviously it's a great night tonight, but I don't want to get too carried away of it. It was a, it, it was a nice performance on the back of a, what I felt was a decent performance on Saturday as well against another difficult side. We've got a lot of time for Fylde and, and, and Dave and his team and that. So they do try and play the, the right way, in my opinion. Um, but we was good tonight and, and really pleased with, with the result. The attackers will take a lot of the plaudits, but how solid were that defensive line? in making sure that everything that came towards them, they dealt with really well, but they also got us going on the attack and obviously Rico got the opening goal. Yeah, it was nice to score from a set piece. It's not, funnily enough, one of the ones we've worked on, uh, but, you know, you, you take it. Um, but, you know, they've had to defend tonight. I think we could have, in the first half, defended a bit better from the front, if I'm being honest. Um, but nevertheless, they'll get the credit for the goals and the, and the, and the back boys will get their credit for the clean sheet but it was a collective tonight you know we, we, we win and lose as a team and, and we attack and defend as a team as well and obviously you uh, opted to bring Josh Walker in for Alfie Pavey and he put in a really good performance didn't give those centre-backs a moment's peace um, what would you say on basis of his performance this evening I thought Josh was very good Simeon was good again um, you know obviously made a couple of changes but with the journey and, and two two difficult games in three days I, you know, it's, it's easy to stand here when we win and say I believe in these boys and I did believe in these boys when, when it was an uncomfortable couple of games recently um, and I know I've got a good squad um, and, and that's on tonight's evident that's been proven because we've, we, we've made a couple of changes and they both perform well um, and, and that's what that's what I want. I believe in a in a good squad, healthy competition, and you know Josh and Efron coming tonight, putting a real shift for the team, and 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 contributed massively to a good night for us. We stood in very different circumstances last Tuesday, and you demanded a response in the next two fixtures. How would you rate that response? Listen, it's pleasing. It's, it, it is pleasing, but I don't I don't want to have to get to to a situation where I'm, I'm demanding a response all the time mm. because you know if we play to our maximum play to our potential then I believe we're a good team I believe we're a good group of players you know there's there's a chance for us this season if we can show a level of consistency and all barring two games I think our consistency has been been there um, but obviously you know weeks a long time in football isn't it I was standing here last Tuesday devastated with how we performed and the result and then a week later we're in a good place again. And obviously um, Tatonda made his return you're slowly getting everyone back to uh, to fitness just how good is that for you to have so many options that you can change the team like you did tonight? Well healthy competition so you know you know, we've, we're now looking like a good 11 and, and, and a good squad on the bench as well and obviously there's still one or two that will, will potentially come back and make us stronger so healthy competition people have to maintain levels otherwise you know they'll lose their shirt that's how I want it to be and uh, just finally small band of Barnet fans have made a very very long trip Incredible. to uh, Fylde on this very cold Tuesday evening uh, what's your message for them? Well, I had the, the, the Tannoy guy at Fylde hand me a, a list of the 23 that came along. Um, and I've got their names and I'll tweet the names on the way home just to, just to say thank you. You know, 23 of them coming up here a long way. Uh, I know there was a, some frustration around uh, the, the game, the original game being put back because of the call-ups and what have you, but for them to still come up tonight on a, on a cold Tuesday night, you know, it's utmost respect from me and the players. 
uh, but I'll be I'll be tweeting a message just to say thanks um, for their efforts tonight, and hopefully they go home happy like we do.